me a while to be able to find a good place with reception. I walked all over this uh, site here. Pretty crazy. Back and forth, back and forth. We are looking at Booster 7. Looks like they may raise it up onto the overlaunch platform today. I'm just uh, getting myself situated here. It looks like we might be in for some fun this morning. Wherever, wherever you are, whatever time it is, wish you the best for today. Maybe you're ending your day, who knows. I'm just starting my day here. July, um, August 6, 2022, Paul S. Mamakos, Ocean Camera Space Corp. Look at the uh, Booster 7. I had much better views than this, but uh, the reception, this is the only spot I could get reception, so with a decent photo. So I was going to possibly use my other camera and do a hot spot. It was going to be a lot of issues. So I could try from this side for the hot spot. But I'll keep this camera on for a little while, for about uh, 20 minutes, and then uh, maybe I'll try the hot spot, personal hot spot. I'm going to get some other things situated. We are alive here on the uh, on this beautiful Saturday morning, 10:40 in the morning ish. Hey, Will, good stuff. So I have both cameras here. I have set up the camera multiple times in multiple locations, and uh, it's working here. So. Right, good stuff, good stuff.
All right. So apparently, um, Paul Michael's Ocean Camera Facebook. Apparently, this is Booster Seven, is what I'm hearing. Um, we have a decent shot of it from this location here. Anyone wants to pitch in for Starlink, there's a donate button in the description there. If I get Starlink, that'll be the game changer. I'll be able to stream from anywhere here on the dunes. It's about 500, it's about 650 bucks. So this morning they connected the load spreader at the top there. I believe uh, when I did the short video this morning, uh, we could see that the load spreader was not connected. So, I got the Nikon camera next to me, so I'll be getting some footage with that. Um, I did try and set it up so I could live stream with that, but it wasn't working today. Saturday and Sunday are really sketchy days for AT&T for uh, live streaming from here at the launch site. So just because of the weekend, a lot of people use AT&T and the signal gets, uh, I, I think, overwhelmed over there at AT&T on a, on a weekend. So, nothing new. It's been happening forever. So. I'll zoom in at the base there and get some shots of the what we're seeing. They've been building out that wall there at the on the bottom, just to the bottom right of the booster there. See, they have been uh, really bringing that wall out further, um, and it looks pretty good. Looks nice. It's that dirt berm there. This is kind of your typical Saturday morning. Uh, the, the weekend traffic here really gets here on a Sunday. They don't really party so much on a Saturday here. There's no telling how long this live stream is going to last because um, a lot of times what they'll do is they will hook something up. They'll get something in position and then maybe like uh, six or eight hours, seven hours later, that's when they'll do the lift. So this lift could happen anytime today or maybe it'll happen tomorrow. But I believe since they put it in place this morning, uh, they, they, got, they got out of bed and they made it uh, a point to hook it up this morning that sometime today they'll probably do the lift. Yeah. They do a thing in stages here. So first stage is complete. They hooked it up. Uh, they did loosen all the bottom there around the booster because I heard them doing the ratchets and everything like that. So they have unscrewed the connections to the stand or maybe they're still doing it because uh, I just heard a little something. But And then after that, they will uh, sometime after that do the lift. Oh. 